flames. Fire is in the flames. I wanna go deep So I don't wanna love Hello and welcome on my channel, uh, Candies and Not Candy App. And today I want to talk about how I learned English. I really learned English from music. Um, so how it start? <laughs> how it started? So I I started learning English when I was in um, in troisième. So it's like at the end of middle school hi uh, I just wanted to say that I made a mistake I was not in middle school anymore I was in the ninth grade because we don't have the same system as the American one here in France so yeah sorry for the mistake and uh, um, I I learned about the death of Michael Jackson and because of that, I I decided to listen to his music and to search what he done, what he has done in his life. Because I don't know, his his death touched me like I cried like a like I just lost someone uh, from my family. So I was really affected by his death, and uh, that's when I learned to appreciate him so I look at his music and uh, at that time I was listening listening only to like the radio or <clears throat> and uh, I listened to artists like Selena Gomez or Tyler Swift or Beyonce but also French but I didn't I don't didn't like French music that much so I didn't listen to it so I listened to him and I wanted to know about what he was saying in his lyrics so I can perfectly say it so I search his lyrics on the internet and the word I didn't know I searched them in the dictionary but some words he's saying is like heavy a a v e so I, I didn't know like there there wasn't really meanings to it sometimes. Like I was so passionate about what they're saying that I search lyrics and write the word I didn't know on the um, on the um, notebook. So that's how I basically learned the word and for the pronunciation. I just um, I look through YouTube to listen to some word and then I would repeat 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 them with the actual pronunciation they add in the in the video and that's how I learn in English like I just listened write a few words and uh, that's it and there is that like I would I was doing it I was doing it for my entertaining then I I um, at school yes at school I learned also uh, some basics like the colors the numbers the the place of the word the construction of a set a sentences of sentences like like I learned about Yes, the time, like hours, you know, something like that. But 
I still struggle today with the numbers like sometimes hundred and thousands I don't know the difference I know the difference but if I had to write immediately or tr translating the, the thing in French I would have some uh, sometimes sometime I will stop and be blocked by it but it's okay though like I can still talk to a native I tried it because I am um, I went to New York and Miami um, uh, two, two, two years ago I went there and then when I was the official translator of the family even though my sister my little sister can talk too she can talk too because she she watches drama and she you know like makeup gurus on the on YouTube or people that love to tell their stories she listened to them too so she she learned also English but I was the, the official translator for, for my family and I um some some people like complimented my my English so I I feel confident in English like I could talk to someone in English like I could uh, I think with some training I could do some tourism like you know like the agents the, um, the people that are in the room like they welcome uh, people I think I could do that because I know some English I can talk I can talk that so I think it could be good I could be good but I don't have the opportunity to do that and I don't know if people I didn't I never teach someone something so I don't know if that could work if people are willing to learn with me because I don't have any lessons for it so I just I just learned it because I love Michael Jackson and I wanted to know what he was saying in his lyrics and uh, like I wanted to know about that and that's basically it how I learned English mm -hmm. there isn't something else I learned it because I like it because I like Michael Jackson I just wanted to know what he was saying I like watching his um, interview you know the um, interviews and his uh, documentary like, living with Michael Jackson the famous one with Bashir something yes this one and then some years later I watched it again and I understood what he said so I was happy that my English improved that I can understand what people are saying and even singing sometimes but I still have difficulties to understand what they are saying sometimes when people have like a, an accent it's difficult for me to understand that and why they are talking fast like or like if they are mumbling like if they are mumbling your music you know you know what I'm saying I don't know. if people are talking like that I can't understand what they're saying sometimes so I still have uh, something to learn because I I like vocabulary I want to say I like vocabulary so it's difficult for me to understand what they're saying and um, I think I lost some of the accent people do like I can pronounce them but I have still difficulties I'm not perfect I know that I, I think I make grammatical error sometimes and so yeah but I'm trying like I'm always trying trying to improve trying to 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 be better at English because speaking a sequent lang language is not easy and I'm learning so you can learn it too if you want if you're in interested in the language and um, I want just I just want to say that because I, I like I listen to K-pop I'm still learning to speak it 
to make some phrases about that and because I'm just changing the subject I will end my video here thanks for watching thanks for listening to me speaking in English in imperfect English with a strong French accent but I like it I hope you like it I hope you subscribe I hope you comment and I will see you in my next video I don't know what it will be I hope you watch my previous videos yes I hope you watch it and uh, bye